Hello, my name is Tom, and today I'll be talking to you about sending webhooks from Python. Uh, for this demo, we're going to use the Sfix uh, service. It just makes sending webhooks super easy and also takes care of like security and reliability and retries and, and scalability and really like managing the whole thing. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is let's create a quick virtual env. Let's install the Sfix uh, library. Of course, we need to source it. Let's install the Sfix library. Run for a second. Um, cool, we have it installed. Um, now we're going to create a demo. So the first thing we want to do is import uh, Svix from Svix. Import Svix. Then the next thing we're going to do is we want to create um, an application. So an application is like is kind of like the way you have to think about it, is like where we're going to be sending the webhooks to. Most people just have like one application for one of their users, but you can have any other constellation. But really the way to think about it is like, if you want to send a message to someone, that someone would be an application. And um, so let's actually, before that, let's create a Sfix instance. So Sfix um, of token would just be like some of token. Um, again, you actually can get the off token from the, you know, from the Sfix dashboard, but let's just use this for an example. And also, we in this example, we're using the synchronous Svix, but actually, if you want, you can just do Svix async, and then you can get this, the asynchronous version as well for like async Python. And um, then the next step would be to create a Svix application. Um, so let's just do that. Svix.application.create. Um, and then, as you may have noticed, it accepts like a, an application in structure. Um, which expects a name, so just like my application. And then it also expects, I mean, a lot of other things, but like one of those things is a UAD. So a UAD is actually a way, um, it's kind of like you, it's a way for you to put your own identifiers and then use them interchangeably throughout the Svix product. Actually, which, um, so essentially, if it's in your database, you have a user and it's called test123, you can use test123 um, Throughout it, you know, throughout it, you can send messages to test one, two, three. You don't have to save any Sfix identifiers, which reminds me, let's actually keep it as, um, you know, like a, a like a variable that we can reuse just to make it easier. So once we've created application, again, that would be the destination for, for webhooks. What we can do is we can start sending messages there. So we're gonna do a message create. We're gonna pass again. You can use the UID interchangeably as an app ID. So we're just gonna pass the UID. And then we're going to pass message in structure. Um, it accepts a lot of things, but one example that it accepts like the event type, that is the type of the event being sent. Um, let's use invoice.created. Um, and then the other required field is the payload, which can be whatever you want. Let's just use like a you know, foo is bar and temp is three. Again, you can use any Python structure, uh, dict, um, it would just work like anything that can be uh, serialized as a JSON. And that's it. Now we actually sent a message to this um, UAD. Um, as you may have noticed, we didn't actually add an endpoint. In order to do that, the two alternatives. The first one is just to use the endpoint API, so endpoint create. Again, you can pass the UAD and then you can use endpoint in. Again, everything is very, um, you know, like consistently uh, named. You can set the URL and you know it could be whatever webhooks.com webhooks. You can really put whatever you want, um, but that's actually less interesting. And the much much more interesting variant is actually creating what we call an application portal. So let me just like show you how it's done. So we're gonna do like app portal access again. Put, I'm gonna put the same UID and then app portal access in. We're just gonna put an empty struct. We don't actually care about it for now. We can always uh, modify it later. Let me actually remove this one. Um, um, and really, and that's it. Like now you can create, when you call that application portal, like what you get back is you get back this that has, um, you know, like a URL. And that URL can be used in two different ways. The first one, you can actually just open it in the browser and like, again, give it, it's a one-time access URL. So it's like a one-time login. You can give it to your customers and they can just open this view and they can, you know, add endpoints themselves and really kind of like self, you know, choose the, the type of event types they want to listen for. 
uh, listen to, sorry, etc. Or they can also have like visibility into what has been sent before. In the same view, the same URL can actually be embedded as an iframe. So imagine that this is your UI. And you can embed it in an iframe, and then this is how it's going to look like. So like really seamlessly, and you can like modify the coloring and the font and everything to really make it like seamlessly integrated. But that's it. That's all you need to do. Now every message that you're going to send to that application is going to be sent to every endpoint that your customer uh, defines. And if you look at the Swix docs, I mean, you can read more a lot more about all of that, but you can also see that we provide libraries for you know, your customers to verify uh, webhook signatures and like a lot of those kind of nice to have things um, in order to have a secure and reliable um, service. Thank you.